as you can see, I got the little ones in the bed after a feeding from mommy as well as some uh, kibble, soft, dime, and some uh, milk supplement. But of course, anybody, when you get a puppy, of course, everybody knows puppies want to chew on everything. So, as you can see, they're quiet and they're content. Why? Because they're chewing on something. And that something is the item that I had been talking about, you know, for a while now, which is the uh, baked pig ears, the pork ears. Love them. All puppies want to do is chew, chew, chew. Their teeth are coming in. Uh, their gums are itchy. They just want to chew on something. And these snacks are perfect. Um, it's not rawhide. It's straight 100% pork. Um, and it's a treat that they can chew on and keep them entertained for hours. So, again, I'll... Um, show you a quick picture of the product in which I'm speaking of but I just wanted to show you that you know while these puppies are in their teething stage and their baby stage they just want to chew on something like human babies and these uh, you know what I'm saying baked pork ears are the best alright let's see what we got here Now, also, for treats, I like these here. They're called Nutri Chumps. Uh, they're made with milk, raw, high free, high protein, easy to digest, vitamins, and minerals as well. I give these to the big dogs. Uh, let them chew on them for just a couple minutes because they're so OCD. They just eat everything at once, in particular, Isis. But. As far as the pig ears I was talking about, right here. I bought these from Royal King. Um, they usually cost about a dollar per ear. They weigh them by the pound, I think, but it usually averages out to about a dollar per ear. So I'll go in, I'll get three or four bags, unfortunately, and uh, get a ton of uh, pork ears. I have two bags left. And as you can see, when the do big dogs hit those bags, here they come. Thinking it's time for them. No, y'all gonna finish your breakfast, and you may get a snack later. As far as right now, only the babies is getting a snack. Sorry about your luck. So, since it's kind of early in the morning, I didn't want to be doing a lot of loud talking. Uh, so I decided to come outside. But I just wanted to just to give y'all a quick update. Um, again, the males are sold and I still have the four females. Um, I know I've been getting a ton of calls for Spike. Look, everybody, I know everybody loves Spike. Spike is paid. Well, there's a deposit down on Spike. So therefore, Spike is no longer on the market. And then Samson, the bigger male, he's gone also. I mean, he's here, but he's taken also. So I have the four females which is kind of rare because usually people uh, want the females because the females is where the money is. Uh, this is just some information for those uh, who may be, you know, wanting to start their own kennel, start their own yard, start their own breeding process. Um, you know, you always want to start with a good bloodline. And fortunately for me, I have some, uh, but... You want to, I know when people call and ask for prices, you know, they ask for the price and then, you know, I don't hear anything back from some people. That's fine. That's fine. But you, but you have to also realize you get what you pay for. So you can go get you a cheaper dog, but like I said, you can either buy you a Chevette or you can get you a Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, my prices are actually low considering what you're getting. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hitting people in the head for these puppies. 
I mean, I think these puppies are very reasonably priced for what you're getting because again, we don't run a puppy mill here. These puppies are raised inside of my home. You just seen where they were. That's their whelping box or whatever you want to call it. That's where they are unless I let them in the backyard to get some exercise because it wears them out. And then in the evening, all they want to do is come in. They'll eat a little bit because they're tired and then they'll sleep all night. I have less of a mess to clean up when I come home from work or wake up in the morning if I'm off that night. And that is the, the main objective for me. You know what I'm saying? Making it easier on myself and Lady T up here, you know? So anyway, um, you know, you want to, uh, normally the females are always the first to go because females, you know, if say you invest $3,000 in a female or 3,500 or whatever, I mean, heck, I could charge more than that, four, four thousand five thousand or whatever you know you're going to get your money back these are investments okay you have to start looking at things in a more business with a more business mind as opposed to just oh my god i gotta cough up blah 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 yeah but guess what if you get a female and you have a litter with the female you're gonna make your money back 10 20 times over so maybe even 30 you know, say you spend three thousand dollars on a female, and she's old enough and she goes through her first heat cycle. I always suggest that you let the female pass on her first heat cycle because they're still technically puppies. Let her pass on that first one, so her body can 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 fully uh, develop and she can mature a little more before you put that stress and strain on the uh, the dog with having a litter of pups. So then on her second heat cycle. Then you go ahead and do your AI or your natural insemination, however you want to do it, and have your litter of puppies. I mean, you know, heck, you can have anywhere from six to ten pups. So say you invest $3,000 for a female. Year, year and a half, second cycle comes, boom, you get you a litter. Say she has ten puppies. You sell your, pu your puppies for three grand a piece. 10 times 3 is tw two, six. Here. Hang on my God. 30 grand off of one litter. 30 grand off a of litter. And all you had invested was $3,000. Try taking that same $3,000 that you was thinking about investing in the puppy, Taylor made kennel puppy, and put it in the bank and see how much money you'll make in a year and a half off of it. Put it in the stock market. See, buy you some Bitcoin with that three grand. See what you're going to have in a year and a half. This is a sure shot. And that's just one letter. Second letter, possibly the same thing. That's another twenty to $30,000. Third letter, that's another twenty to $30,000. You see where I'm going with this? In three years, you could possibly make almost a hundred grand. Off of a $3,000 investment. Then you ask anybody in the banking community, the investment community, if that's a sure shot. What, what are you losing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, and I'm not just saying that just so I can, and that, that goes for anybody. I mean, this is just puppies in general. And, and then even if you were to buy a female and you're not interested in, in breeding, you're still having a quality dog that, like I said a million times, is is you know pretty docile they're very protective of their home great with children great with other dogs you can take them to the park you can scare old people that think they're pit bulls like buddy look at the muscles look at the size of this little pocket that, that's a pit bull please you know what i mean it's just the exoticness of these puppies you know what i mean that that really catches people's attention you know and then two with males I don't know why, okay, other than wanting to start a kennel or something, you know, that's that's one good thing. You know, of course, you want to have your, your own stud so you don't have to, and even if you do buy a male, you can stud him out, and you're still making your money back. Charge $500 a stud session, $750, $1,000, $12, $15. You put your own price on how much you want to charge somebody to use your mail for a stud session. Say you just say, okay, we're going to do a stud session for a thousand a pop. 
You do three stud stu sessions, that's your money back. And your male can produce for years. So, I mean, again, you're making your money. It's all about the long haul. It's not about the quickies. You know what I'm saying? That quick buck. You want that? Go get a pack and hit the block. <laughs> and good luck with that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but if you if you have the money and the time and the patience, it's profitable for you. You know what I mean? I'm just spitting some game here that I'm sure other bully uh, breeders probably, you know what I'm saying, aren't too keen on because, you know, you could possibly be, you know, tapping into their uh, finances. But it is what it is. I'm just trying to help people out and letting people know why, you know, good breeders and breeders with quality puppies charge what they charge because they know what they have and they know what you could potentially have if you have the time, patience, and, and, and uh, you know what I'm saying, the ambition to make money off these dogs, you know? But, you know, and again, with the males, I don't want no male. I'm sorry, they, they, males are hard-headed. They don't listen. They, they be going around your home. Uh, pissing on everything and everything turn around you go mopping the floor you look up what? what's it on my the leg of my table bitch he marking his territory pissing on anything flowers wondering why your flowers is dying your male pissing on them i ain't fooling with them females is easier to raise they they're a little bit more attentive uh and again they don't have as much aggression not that these dogs have a lot of aggression but they have less aggression with the females and then if you get a, a female puppy and and you choose not to uh you know do any breeding with her just get her spaded and then you have no mess you know when they come in heat that's the only thing about a female that you have to worry about you know when you're keeping them inside and not caged up is whenever they go in heat you know you got some cleanup, but if you don't plan on breeding, you might as well go ahead and, and have her um, spayed while she's a puppy when it's cheaper and uh, you won't have that issue. Females is the, you know what I'm saying? I would much rather keep a female than a male because I have my buddy's uh, male up here for what was it, a day, maybe two days, I think a day. Whew, never again. Sorry, Jimmy Thomas. You got to keep Smokey at home, buddy. Yeah, he was bad as hell, but uh, speaking of smoke, I want to say what's up to my man Smoke up there and be more. You know what I'm saying? A little spike, boy, I'm telling you. And I ain't even joking, bro. I'm getting like three, four, five texts and emails a day wanting spike. Everybody wanted a little spiky. I told y'all from the jump, Spike was going, he was going to be that male. You know what I mean? Everybody wanted to sleep on him. Smoke seen the quality, and he said he wanted to start uh, his own yard. And that is a perfect cornerstone to starting your own kennel, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you ever need anything, like I told you, bro, you can reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? We can network. Bada boom, bada bang. You know, share some information. Get a plug. You know what I'm saying? Boom. And so on. That's what it's all about. It's all about networking, meeting new people. Uh, and like I said, I possibly may want to uh, breed with, you know what I'm saying, one of your males from a litter or something, you know, on down the road or whatever, just to keep the lineage and the bloodline in. And that's how that works. You know, and also... Some breeders can charge more for a puppy because I don't have to give any female that I that I sell uh, the rights to um, have their own litter. That's on me. I could charge you more to allow you to breed the puppy that I sell you. It sounds crazy, but that's how it is. If you buy a dog from a breeder and they don't want you breeding that dog, to keep the lineage and bloodline, they, then they won't give you the rights to the puppy, to the dog. When you go to get your paperwork, you can't get it. Because the breeder, I forgot what that uh, clause is called, but uh, as a breeder, registered breeder, I can keep anybody that buys one of my females from having a litter of puppies if I so choose. But I don't do that because, like I said, I'm not in it for the money. I'm not trying to hit people in the head. I'm just trying to get people to, you know what I'm saying, to experience the breed. That's all. Bro, it's not in the game. So I don't have time for games. I don't rip people off. I don't want to be ripped off. So I try to treat people like I want to be treated, even though in today's society that isn't that always the case. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Long as, but I'm not even going to go there right now. But anyway, speaking of which, uh, we gave the – 
puppies their shots a couple days ago and I kept all the vials for your own uh, records if you wish to keep the uh, those shots that they've had thus far um, and I believe maybe this weekend um, I'm going to be doing the uh, second worming uh, dosage of worming for the pups and if you are interested in a pup uh, hold on one second okay yeah and if you are interested in a puppy female um, they're seven weeks old um, I prefer they stay till eight weeks because they're still suckling on their mother I'll let her in first thing in the morning and you know they're attacking her like a pack of wolves and then we'll let um, her uh, feed them in the evening before bedtime as well just to get their bellies full before they go to bed and uh, so they're still getting some natural nutrients but they are weaned pretty much I mean you know they just suckle just I'm just letting them do it just so they can get the milk out of the mom so she's not running around with them saddlebags flopping around every time she's running around it makes the craziest noise but uh, so they help the mother get the excess milk out of her but they are they can go at this point um, the paperwork is here uh, they ha like I said they had their first shot of worms I mean their first shots and they had their first worm, worm dosage um, and we plan on hitting them with the second wormage no next week it's two weeks you gotta wait two weeks there you go. And I'm trying not to blow up. I'm trying not to blow up. My hair already rough. And... No, I got. I gotta go in early. I gotta have a meeting with the plant manager. Anyway, so that's where we are with that. So they're ready to go. They got the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But uh... okay. Thank you. Thank God, people are going back to work finally. So now I can have my days to my sense. I can go in, lay down after a hard night of work, relax, sleep, walk around in my draw. Well, not my son's still here. I forgot. Man, he don't wake up till one, two o'clock in the afternoon doing those. Mm. <sighs> the interruptions. <sighs> Anywho, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all, uh, you know what I'm saying, the little treats that they get give y'all a little brief update and uh, let you all know that the puppies are ready to roll when ever you want to pick them up for those that's already uh, purchased them and uh, just to also say that about the females and, and the males I mean it's an investment um, you, you have to start thinking as a you know outside of being a consumer but being a producer also you know and, and making your money work for you not you always having to work for money. Let your money work for you, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, I mean, and if somebody buys a puppy, and like I said, if you're trying to get you a yard and get you a, a kennel going, I'll, I'll give you anything I can do to help you. I'm not here to knock people out of their hustle or out of their money. You know what I mean? I mean, that's, I mean, I can't make it all. I mean, I'm not making it all, you know what I mean? But if, if I can help somebody, you know, if, if I have some for sale, boom, 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 maybe you can advertise for me and likewise. You know, if you have something and I don't, I can say, hey, well, my man up in Maryland, he got something. My man over in PA, he, you know what I'm saying? And that's how that works. That's called networking. And that's, and that's you know what I'm saying, some cohesiveness that, you know, is needed. Not everybody always attacking one. Oh, man, he don't have this. Or he, I don't have time for the negativity, yo. I mean, I'm not in the game for that, you know. But, uh, again, females is where the money is. Um, nothing, again, nothing wrong with males. You can definitely make money with the males, but of course, you know, having the females, you know, you get a, say you get a seven litter pup. The seven litter is a pup. Sound three grand a piece? Yeah. My math. I'm four. You know, that's 21. 21 grand off of seven pups. Get you five. It's 15 grand. You only spent three. It's five times your money back. You're not going to get that from no no other financial institution. Nobody's giving returns like that. Now, yes, you will have to get puppy food and all that. I mean, you shouldn't run over, I say, probably 
no, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars a year on food and, and other things for your for your dog. You know what I'm saying? It's the gift that keeps on giving. So for those that, that are inquiring, uh, you know, that's that's the purpose and, and the point that I just wanted to make is these puppies are an investment. Love them, treat them right, uh, treat them like you would your own child, and uh it's it's the gift that keeps on giving because you can make money in it. If that's if you so desire, and even if you're not purchasing a puppy to breed, because most people that I sell to don't plan on breeding them. I'm just letting you know that it's my choice whether or not if you were to breed, it's my decision. And I'm not hitting you in the head for those breeding fees. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have to allow someone to breed any dog that I sell. But I don't hold that against people because I wouldn't want anybody to do it to me. So... Uh, just putting you up on some game. This is Diamond. Oh, yeah, I forgot my intro. Dang, because I was trying to be crap. Ah, Diamond Dave here with you, babies. You know what I'm saying? Back with another video that I hope you find informative. You know what I'm saying? So, they're going to my intro and my outro, meaning, you know, the video is about over. So, uh, again, the uh, number is 304-590-1456. Again, that's 304-590-1456. For those of you on the West Coast, you know, uh, Midwest, just be mindful of the texts. We're on the East Coast. So, you know, you just, I'm getting texts 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Try to hit me during the day, if at all possible. Uh, or we could be reached at Taylor Kennels 304 at Gmail. Dot com again that's Taylor Made Kennels 304 at Gmail uh, and again I only pr I prefer texts not calls I don't answer out of state calls because usually it's some robo call or something you know that I don't need so with that being said I hope you all have a great day uh, love your dogs love your pups you know what I mean and uh, if you're looking for quality come to D you know what I mean? Come to me. Diamond Dave, the Almighty, you know what I'm saying? And we'll we'll get it popping. We'll get it popping. So with that being said, uh y'all have a great day. And um, yeah. Ha. Any questions? You can text, comment, like, sub, and subscribe. Let me see. No, sub is subscribing, isn't it? I don't know what them other YouTubers be saying. Them little young hip hoppers. Y'all know how it is. Give a brother a thumbs up, whether you like it or not. Leave a brother a comment positive comment because it was negative i'm cutting y'all i mean you're not you're not gonna shine on me because i mean if you got something negative y'all don't know. see i'm trying not to go there um, that replacement thing i got done boy bro ready to, you know what i mean i ain't mm-hmm i'm not here i'm not here i'm not here